There's probably something you really want to work on changing in your life. But when you go to YouTube and you type in how to change your life, you've probably watched one of my videos and then watched two or three hours of other people's videos on the internet as well. And all this time, at the end of the day, you thought you were doing something productive to change your life but all you did was fill your mind with more ideas. Well, in this video, I wanna talk about how you can actually specifically stop wasting time on the internet to get things done in your life where it matters. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master of the Day. So I've included the first link below is for a free journaling worksheet to plan out how to reinvent your life, get your life together, and build out that dream vision of the year going forward. So you can check it out the first link below. And you also get an email series on how I use journaling to completely change the direction of my life. Let's start with a really fundamental premise that I think is super important. Even just one hour a day can change your life. And that doesn't mean that you have to not watch your three hours of Netflix or go from four hours a day on Instagram to zero. It just means one hour. There's a story here I tell so many times about Earl Nightingale where he passed a bunch of steel workers during the Great Depression. And they were all at this point unemployed, even though they had a skill. And they were sitting there on their lunch break every day, complaining that they're out of work, sitting around all together, trying to find some new work. And Earl went home and he was thinking, you know, all these guys, when they came home every day after work, what were they doing? Because if they had dedicated even one hour a day over the last 10 years, each one of them could have become an open heart surgeon in that free time. And it wasn't sacrificing all of their free time. So for you, the one hour a day difference could mean becoming a YouTuber or writing the book you always wanted, finding that dream person or getting your beach body and keeping your beach body. It doesn't take that much to really change the direction of your life, but it does take discipline. So having set that aside, because I think that's really important, that philosophy, there are two primary things that I use. The first is a piece of technology called the self-control app. Now there are a lot of different resources on the internet that are similar to self-control. And there are apps on your phone, there are computer apps. But for me, I just use the self-control app and I block all social media, all news, and any other thing that I would regularly check as just an ADD work break. So the second I sit down, I'm sitting down not only with a physical timer in my desk, but also I've already blocked all the places that I'd normally want to check. So I'm setting a system, but I'm also having accountability to make sure that I don't do anything. Now, the second strategy I use is the hog wild strategy. You might have seen my video on the three second rule, which is basically when you don't want to do something, just count from three to two to one and force yourself up out of your chair and just go beast mode just to go do anything force yourself in this massive burst of energy. Well, for me, the hog wild strategy is if I really don't want to do something, I set a timer for an hour and I tell myself, I'm going to go hard at this for an hour. And every time I don't want to be doing what I'm doing, I'm just going to remind myself, I just have to use this work until that timer's done. So once that timer's done, my work is done. I don't have to feel guilty. I don't have to feel bad. I don't have to do anything for one hour. When that timer's going, I work. And when it's done, I can go do whatever the hell I want. So it really doesn't take much to change your life, but it does take being deliberate and it does take discipline. And for me, those two strategies, using some technology as well as using a smart strategy has been really monumental for me to not use the internet. And honestly, if you think about the old days, how did people get so much shit done? Well, if you're sitting in a cabin with a candle and a book what else are you going to do? Ultimately, the best hack is not being around technology at all. So if you want to get the deep work done, put all of that aside or leave it in your car and then have a quiet focus spot for a period of time. I hope that helps. I know none of that is really rocket science, but if you do it, you're going to see that it probably works for you too. Again, the first link down below is for a free journaling worksheet, how you can use journaling to reinvent your life, find your direction going forward, and kind of come up with a plan to improve yourself. The first link below is for that. And I also have two videos right on this exact topic right over here.